High power switching occurs when the current or voltage reaches a few hundred amperes or volts. This switching is often done by contactors due to the reasonable cost of their technology and its proven reliability. The phenomena that must be controlled is the electric arc. It is particularly intense in direct current. Its temperature can be destructive and it is difficult to cut. To understand how this breaking is done in Tasis B contactors, let's first see how an electric arc is born and disappears. An arc occurs especially when a circuit is cut. The resistance to current flow increases very rapidly when the contacts begin to move apart. This causes an intense heating on the air around the contact points. The air is ionized, i.e. conductive, and the current flows through it forming an arc that can easily stretch. The arc will go out when this ionized channel has become too long, therefore too resistant. In Tasis B contactors, the arc develops in an arcing chamber. This chamber is a kind of electrically insulated and high temperature resistant cap. It covers the fixed and mobile contacts of each pole. The chamber is crossed by an intense magnetic field. This field is created by a coil which is constantly traversed by the current to be cut. The magnetic field has the effect of driving the arc outwards by lengthening it. As the temperature of the ionized air channel decreases, its resistance increases, the arc is then cut very quickly. Tasis B's magnetic blowing cutoff principle is very efficient.